Very exciting day today. Imagine who I've used for a few years now for my wedding color correction is now doing video as well. So not only photos, but also videos. If you're not familiar with what Imagine is, it's basically pattern recognition. So it sees how you edited a photo in the past that if you shot that 85 millimeter lens backlit, you edited the photo look like that. When it sees a new photo that's from the same circumstances, it will just edit it as you did in the past. There are also talent profiles. So if you don't want to go through the process of actually getting it to learn your style, uh, I use one of the talent profiles actually, and it is amazing. You can also modify them so you can start with a really good consistent base profile, and then you can switch it up and make some modifications so that it feels a lot more like you. I feel like that's an easier startup time. But now, not only are they going to be doing that for your photography, but they're also going to be doing it for video as well. I've had a chance to use the video beta or maybe it's an alpha at this point and it's worked really well. So if you are somebody that shoots hybrid photo video coverage and you want an easy way to not only color correct everything and make all your cameras look nice and consistent, but also a way that is going to match your video and it's going to look like your photography. If that sounds interesting to you, get in on the waitlist and you'll get first access to the beta when it is officially out there into the world. And usually the way, I'm not entirely sure, but usually the way that betas go with Imagine is that it is free while it's in beta. They want that feedback. They want people using the system. So hopefully you'll get to use the software for free for a little while. To walk you through the process, it is pretty simple and it's very similar to the way that Imagine will do photography. You open up the application, you select your project. Uh, right now it's only working with Premiere. So if you have Premiere, awesome. If you don't, hopefully some future support in the future. And it will make proxy files for all of your larger clips. So it's not gonna be uploading every single clip that you shot in the entire project for analysis. It's going to make smaller versions of it to color correct from, similar to the smart previews that Lightroom will create, but Imagine will be editing from. So it takes a few more minutes than it would if it was just photography, but I would say my project actually threw a, uh, the, the full Hasselblad documentary that's coming up on Monday. I put that entire project into here, which is 500 clips. And it did it in about maybe 45 minutes, I would say. And the edit was back pretty quickly. I'm going to say maybe 15 to 20 minutes. And it came back with this. Yeah. Back in Iceland. The Hasselblad. 907X. Big sense of big landscape. Let's go home and make some pancakes. Lingonberry jam. Cause this camera is Swedish. No people in our landscapes. We don't really need them, no. No bananas in our pancakes. But we eat them when we drive slow. 100 megapixels. Let the details pop. Medium format. Sitting right at the top. How nice is that? So right now there are three different profiles you can use, but I assume by the time that they launch this, there's going to be a lot more as well as you can create custom ones or maybe even on the marketplace, you're able to buy video profiles from someone else. And as a video creator and as a highlight film creator, I am very, very happy to have a software like this that is going to just automatically match all my cameras. So if I'm shooting Nikon on a day and I have someone shooting Sony and maybe we're running Canon as a main camera for speeches. It's gonna make all those cameras feel nice and cohesive, and I'm not gonna have to go through and tweak each profile to, to make those clips all match. It's just gonna automatically be done. I'm very excited about this, not only for weddings, but also for just everything that I do here on YouTube as well. For the, the travel documentary we're gonna be doing, we're going back to Iceland, bringing the, the, the Z5 Mark II, and I'm going to be doing a couple videos there. And if I can just hit a few buttons and it color grades my entire project, I'm going to be very, very happy. So not only will I be using this for weddings, but I'll also be using this for my work here on YouTube as well as any commercial project that I'm working on. That's all for me here today. We're heading out to Iceland later today. So I'll see you from there. Follow along on Instagram if you're interested in that and get in on the Imagine waitlist for video if you do want to get early access to Imagine video editing. See you next time.